Another aspect of pre-planning your production deals with scene organization. One aspect of scene organization that we'll talk about now is working with layers. If you're familiar with a CAD program like AutoCAD, then you're probably familiar with the idea of using layers to organize your scene. If you are new to the idea of layers, they allow you to separate elements in your scene by assigning each object to a particular layer. So for instance, we are rendering an animation of a very complex building that consists of several floors with lights on each floor, furniture for each floor, and geometry that makes up each floor of the building itself. Using layers, we can separate objects by floor and if we break it down even further, we can assign the lights on a particular floor, the furniture on a particular floor, and the geometry associated with that floor to its own layer. Another reason to use layers is that you can access the properties for each layer. For instance, if I want to hide geometry that I don't want to render, I can set the layer for the geometry to be hidden. For example, in our building, if we're rendering a walkthrough of the second floor, and this was a four floor building, we would want to hide the layers for all the floors except the second floor. This would make our render time much faster and make working with the geometry much more efficient. We also have access to each layer's render options, which allows us to specify how a particular layer can be rendered in the scene. This can be useful when you're rendering a scene for compositing to be able to specify which objects render and how they render. While layers are not the only means of organizing your 3ds Max scene, understanding how layers work can certainly make working with 3ds Max more efficient.